Um, yeah. I never know what to say about books, so I just go, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have a book haul today and there's 27 books in total, so this is going to be a long video. I'm just preparing you. I'll try to make it as quick as possible, but with that many books, you know, let's, let's just do it. I have Watership Down by Richard Adams and this is not a new copy as you can probably tell. It was actually on my mom's bookshelf and I like begged her to let me have it. I just love how beat up and loved this copy looks and it's special to me because it was my grandmother's copy. Then from bookcloseouts.com I picked up Paper Valentine by Brenny Yovanoff. This has been on my wish list for a really long time. I got My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, another one that's been on my wish list for a really long time and I knew I was going to buy this with some birthday money so when I saw it for seven dollars on Book Closeouts I freaked out a little bit. I also picked up Friday Society by Adrian Cress. I first heard about this on Artsy Gal 12's video. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but apparently it's about a magician's assistant, a lab tech's assistant, and a Mortal Kombat instructor's assistant, and they have to solve a murder. That's the length of my knowledge on this book. Then I picked up Harbinger by Sarah Wilson Etienne, another one that's been on my wish list forever, and this is a psychological thriller, so I'm really excited. And it was only $3.50, so you can't beat that. Then I got Frostbite, which is the second graphic novel in the Vampire Academy series. I'm really excited to pick this up. I got Sweethearts by Sarah Zarr, and I've been wanting to read one of her books for a long time. I've heard she's a great contemporary writer. Lastly, from book closeouts, I picked up Crossed by Ali Condi, which is the second book in the Matched trilogy. Then from the dollar store, I found this book. It's The Girl She Used to Be by David Cristofano. I don't really know a whole lot about this, but I have heard of it before, so I couldn't really pass it up for a dollar. Um, there seems to be some pretty good praise on the back here, so yeah. I also couldn't pass it up because it's an autographed copy, which I've never bought an autographed copy before. There's the signature, so that's really cool. Then sometime a while back, I bought The Secret Lives of Dresses by Erin McKean. I had bought this at Half Price Books and then I let my mom borrow it and then I totally forgot about it, but she just finished reading it, so I got it back. I figured I would haul it. These next three books I actually got for free because my friend was going to take a stack of books to Half Price, but she told me if I found any of them that I wanted, I could keep them. So, you know, I took advantage of that. I got A Vintage Affair by Isabel Wolf. This sounds like such a fun book and it sounds like something I will really love. Both of these books are kind of about the same type of thing. They're about vintage shops and dresses and just fun girly things. Next I have Songbird by Walter Zacharias. All I know about this is it is about a Jewish girl during World War II. So sounds interesting. And then I also got Girls in White Dresses by Jennifer Close. Again I don't really know a whole lot about it but here it says that it tells the story of three women grappling with heartbreak and career change, family pressure, and new love all while suffering through an endless round of weddings and bridal showers, so I thought that sounded fun. Then I bought a few things from Amazon. I actually have two DVDs to show you, but they are book related, so I figured I would show them to you. First is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I tried to read the book a while back and I just couldn't really get into it, but I've heard such good things about the movie, so I really want to try it. This next thing, I cannot believe that I own it, but I'm so happy. I bought this with birthday money. I got it like half price on Amazon because it's normally $80 and I got it for like $35. What? What is happening? The Harry Potter Complete 8 Film Collection. I've seen the first four, possibly five movies and most of you know I'm reading the Harry Potter books for the first time right now so I'm really looking forward to watching the movies as I read the books and yeah I'm just really excited. Then I picked up Stealing Heaven by Elizabeth Scott. It was only like seven dollars on Amazon. This used to be one of my favorite books when I first read it. It's been a while, maybe like when I was 15. So I want to read it again and see if I still like it just as much. So yeah. Then I picked up World War Z by Max Brooks. This copy is so weird though. It's like this way it's the size of a mass market paperback but then this way it's like as tall as a regular paperback so it looks really weird in person but whatever. This next book I won in a giveaway and I was so excited about it. It's Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. Can we just take a second to appreciate this beautiful cover? But the thing is the whole book is beautiful. Like look at that design on there and then the front says off with their heads and then the spine is just beautiful. Is that it? That can't be it. Is that it? 
feels like I had way more than that, but I guess it was definitely a lot. So yeah, that's it for this huge book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay. It's really uncomfortable to sit on the floor, in case you didn't know. Ow, I just smashed my finger. Then I got the second. They're so awesome. And what is this? Yeah, so my camera decided to be a jerk and just shut off in the middle of what I was saying. <laughs>